Good afternoon, good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? As we got the LSU baseball back. As uh, Tigers and Commodores. As, uh, he's a, who's L? He must be talking about uh, Haley Van Lip. Oh, yeah, I was surprised at that. Didn't see that coming. I think that's, I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, the Tigers are a favorite tonight. Uh, yeah. I think I think I think we're winning tonight. I, I think we're winning. Can I call me crazy? Uh, uh, I'm kind of surprised that she transferred out. It kind of hurts our depth. For one, so it's not good. Because you know, Reese is uh, going to WNBA, and uh, Haley Van Lith is you know, transferring. That's going to hurt our it hurts our depth. So it's not good. We'll see, though. We'll see. Yeah. I don't think it's good, but but we'll see who they get in the, who she gets the transfer portal. Because uh, they're gonna need to go. To, they're gonna need to hit the transfer portal hard. Since uh, I know they're losing uh, Reese Van Lip, so and plus our bench was already depleted. So it was already depleted. This game is on ESPN two. It's not on uh, the, the the crappy ESPN app. We should have uh, no problems with the uh, broadcast today for a change. There she's going. She's going for uh, Vanderbilt. I think LSU's going to win the series. Call me crazy. They lose if they if they, if they lose tonight, you know, and they give up, you know, like ten runs again, then uh, the season's over with them. We're not winning next weekend for sure against uh, Tennessee. But we'll see what happens tonight. As a uh, clean, you know, clean is back in the lineup. He's batting what eighth. Mine was batting ninth. And those two guys need to get going. They've been uh Clean and Milam have been uh, awful in conference play. They can't hit the ball. I mean, neither can Brady Neal. He can't hit either. So Yeah, if, if Randy wins tonight, it's gonna be impossible for us to dig out the hole because of who we have pitching uh Saturday and or Friday and Saturday. Holman's got to get us a win tonight. The Holman's got to get us a win tonight. So. Haley Van Lip enters the portal for the second straight year. And yeah, these players can just transfer whenever they want, man. And uh, the Athletics are going to play in Sacramento in 2025 and 2027. They're going to play like a triple A ball park, something like that. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? But, uh,. And the Athletics. Hey, what's up? What's up? Proud baseball uh, organization. Uh, they're just reduced to being just rubble, man. Rubbish. They play in a dumpy ass stadium, uh, stadium in, uh, in over in Oakland. Now they got to go play in a double A, triple A stadium for three years until they go to Vegas. Man, it just. Man. A little bad for the diehard fans. And that ownership group just destroyed that team and organization. They're just garbage. All right, we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This game is on ESPN two on the Deuce. So uh, on the Deuce. So uh, no uh, ESPN app today, but uh, that's all right. It's all right. So hopefully it's a uh, hopefully it's a, a fun series. As uh, Tigers, they need they need to take two out of three. They need to take two out of three. I'm gonna put the poll up. Hold on. 
I put a poll up. Don't ask me. I have no idea who's going to win. I didn't put a poll up to me. I'm, bla I'm slacking. Eh. Slacking. So the Tigers lost to Southern on Monday, which was head scratching. I swept over Arkansas. They need uh they need to win two out of three. I, mean, I don't want to get uh two out of whack. Oh, they gotta sweep them here, but they gotta win two out of three. They gotta win a series. They got they gotta win a series before they can start talking about sweeping teams. Vanderbilt, no, Vanderbilt has a good baseball program. I think they won. I think they won two national titles with this uh, Corbin dude. They played. I think they played for two more. So Vanderbilt's actually been a really good baseball program. You got Austin, Cozil, Espinal, Hope, Diaz, but Lanev, Eve, Lanev, Davis, Hewitt, and Bastine. There's a lot there for the uh, visiting Vanderbilt Commodores. Uh, they're hitting 300 as a team. They steal bases. And, all right, so Luke Holman on the mound for LSU is uh, they need they need a really good start for him. He's got to go seven innings, give up maybe one or two runs. He's five and one with a 1.38 ERA, 61 strikeouts at the walks, and uh, we need we need him we need him go like seven innings, man. Vince, uh, but basketball got a good pickup. Who did they pick up? Transfer portal. Hopefully they're paying them good. Then uh, if, if, if the if the powers that be with basketball need to invest in the men's program if they want them to be good, you know they got to they got to do the NIL right. Cause that's what players want nowadays. They, 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 don't, they don't go to school just because uh, they because they like the school anymore. You, you better get to have a good NIL program. Otherwise, they ain't, they're not coming. Got to pay them. Got to pay them. Yeah. Got to pay them like uh like Wade was, but not 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 on the wife checking account, you know. But you got to pay him. All right, so R. J. Austin from Atlanta will lead off here for uh, Vanderbilt, and we're underway from Baton Rouge. Pitch is going to be a ball. Want to know? Ellis who's two and seven in, in the uh, conference. Vanderbilt is six and three. Twenty and ten for LSU and twenty three and six for Vanderbilt. The one zero is hit foul. One one. So man, it's man. It's nice to have the game on ESPN two, not uh, the ESP the trashy ESPN app. Because sometimes the app doesn't have the game on. Sometimes the app, the game just shuts off for some reason. But it's actually good to have it on TV. TV. The 1-1 one, one here, the 1-1 one, one count here to Austin. That's 2-1. And, one. Two and one here to, uh, to Austin. We're in the top of the first. And the 2-1 did a strike. 2-2. Two two. We had a ball, a strike, a ball, a strike. Yeah, the ESPN app sucks, man. Uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, it, it, it sucks. Sometimes the game not is not even on there. There's a foul out of play. There was a game last. I think there was a there was a conference game last week. The Arkansas game wasn't on the app. It it was it, it wasn't like why not wasn't what it was supposed to be. They eventually added it, but it wasn't like uh, you missed start of the start of the game. That's a pitch inside three and two. All I know is ESPN better get their shit together. You know, if they want to have their own standalone app, they better get their interface all fixed. 3 2 pitch is that was ball four. They swung at it. Oh, we got a little lucky there at uh, Austin, swung at ball four. 
But we'll do it again at three and two. Late arriving crowd against the ballpark. Three two pitch is strike three looking. Wow, a little, a little high. One down. I'll take it. I'll take it. Look a little high to me. But hey, we'll take uh, we'll take that strike. The so Holman has uh, strikeout number one. Hey, right, so one one down. Jose will do up, <clears throat> and the pitch is a. I don't know, they call that a ball. You just call that. You just call that pitch a strike. One and out. He did. He just called that pitch a strike. Now he calls it a ball. Then to the next next batter. Where's the one zero? That ball's hit the center field. A shallow center coming on, and Brad Vogel could have got to make the catch. Two down. Yeah, so two down here in the uh, first. Two down. We're gonna have a uh, Espinal do a nice, bright, sunshiny day in the in the capital city of Louisiana. Comes the pitch to the plate. That's a swing and a miss. Going to one. Uh, well, he's playing line, but he's got to get hit sometime, man. I, mean, I don't know. It's not like it's not like, it's not like anybody else is like tearing a cover off the ball. Here's the 0-1. That ball's foul. And just wait, nobody else that's really, you know, hitting the ball like, you know, well. Not, not, uh, what, uh, what, Larson or, uh, but, I don't know, man. Clayton's got to get a hit. Clayton's got to get a hit, man. He, he's, hasn't gotten one. Here's the 0 2. That's gonna be a one and two. Since the SEC place, or he hasn't gotten a hit. Milam has been bad. Nobody, nobody wants to talk about Milam. Milam has been awful, uh, hitting wise. Neil, I don't think Brady Neal's not hitting well at all. That's a swing to chase that one. That's strike three, but they got to go to first to complete the out, and they do. And the side is retired. So Bandy goes in order one, two, three. Bottom one we go. Vanderbilt is zero. LSU coming to the plate. Let's go, man. Let's go, Tigers. Let's go, Bainham, White, and Jones. All right. I'm ready for some uh, some runs. At bottom of the floor. We'll see. We'll see if our situational hitting is better than it has been. Past several games, several games, or well, more than several. I'm still a little worried about our uh, bullpen. Our bullpen's been, you know, not very reliable. Worried about our bullpen. This series, and I'm really worried about it next year. It's, I'm really worried, but next week, I'm really worried about it when they play uh, Tennessee. I'm really worried about our um, next weekend's gonna be a tough, tough, tough task. All right, so Tigers will come to the plate. We got Bainham, White, Jones, Neil, Trevinsky, Braswell, Pearson, Plain, and Milo. They got Pearson and Brady Neal at right field. They got a, they got a, uh, they got a, something misprinted on the uh, screen. There's uh, I guess I guess Pierce is playing second base because they got Neal playing right field and they got Pearson playing right field, which uh, which is uh, impossible. 
Uh, so I assume Pearson's playing second base. All right, so Grayson Carter, he's 3 0 with a 3.80 ERA. Do 20, 24 strikeouts, 13 walks. Walks a few, uh, so he walks a fair share of batters because that's too close. Those walks should be uh, under, well under 10. All right, so a bane at the plate. That's going to be a strike. Only one. Wait, the walks, uh, yeah, two right feeders. What are we doing? We're playing, we're playing softball. We have a, a rover out there. No second baseman. Like softball. Here's a 0 1, and Bainham will foul that one down the uh, right field side. And the statistician, uh, didn't put the, uh, lineup for us. Two right fielders. All right, 0 2 to Bainham. He's about an even uh, 300. I think he's been bad in conference play. Here's a grand ball to third. And one down. One up. One down, and Tommy White comes to play. Tommy White will step to the box. Got in 328, nine homers, 25 RBIs, but. You know, we just we're not we're just not getting the guys on like we did last year. I'm not hitting the ball, not hitting the ball well. Here's a ground ball, right side, and it's gonna be an easy play. Two down. Quickly two up, two down, and now Jones do up. Quickly two up, two down. It's Yeah, we're, you're right. We're hitting, we're hitting the ball way too early to count sometimes. Especially Tommy White. Tommy White's been uh, just like swinging the first pitch. His ball high to Jones, one and up. Julius Randle out for the season for the Knicks. That's not good for them. Here's a foul, one and one. Yeah, Zion Williamson considered day to day. He has a finger and in, finger injury. He better play. Uh, it's, it's it's playoff time, right? Zion better play, man. If he if he can play, you know, of course if he physically can't play, he can't play. Just your finger hurts, man. Just it is what it is. Two and one. Playoff time, man. Oh, two and one here to Jones. Ten homers on this season. That ball's hit to right field. Let's see the park's gonna hold it. It will. Uh, the warning track makes the catch. Has to retire the side. So Jones goes the opposite way. This, uh, but he flies out to the warning track. So uh, both teams go one, two, three in the first inning. Second inning, second inning we go. No score. Mm. Might be a, it's my one of those uh pitching duels thing. One of those pitching duels. All right. If we get uh emojis. Ah, emojis. Fireball. Dean Lane. News. Top of the second, we're going to have Polk, Diaz, and Leneve. Now set for Vanderbilt. We'll see. Uh, what up next? Good. 
action here. Go back here in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Any any number two. Randall's gonna have Polk. Do up first. Here comes the pitch. That's gonna be a ball one and out. Polk at the plate here for the Commodores. One oh. Right. One. One one here to Polk. Long Beach, California. Three twenty four average, four homers on the season. And the one one he's hit the left field. But uh Bainham is there. And one down. Bainham makes a catch. One down. Gonna bring up Diaz to the plate. have come to play here for uh, Vanderbilt. I can't believe ESPN doesn't broadcast in 1080. They go 720. Here comes a the pitch. There's a ball. Why not? They, they don't do... Uh, and here's a 1 0. Here's a strike. 1 and 1. The 1 1 is foul back. 1 and 2. Owen we're home and working uh, quickly here in the second. 1 and 2 to count. No score. 0 0 between uh, Vanderbilt and LSU. Vanderbilt ranked number seven, LSU 18. But I've seen LSU rank 25 in some uh, rankings. It doesn't really matter at this point. That's two and two. The record's two and seven in the conference. That's what matters. So two and two to count. The Neve up next. Pitch. That's three and two. I think LSU went eight to four. Well, we'll see. I'll take it. So three and two to pitch coming to uh the Diaz. Lost my back. Get a swing to miss. Two down. That's the third K of the day for um Holman. All right, we got uh, two down. Eve. Yeah. The knee. Okay, here's the pitch. There's a swing to miss. On one. Nothing in one here to the Senior from Pittsburgh. 307 average, three homers, and 25 RBIs for the Commodores. The 01. This one on one. So Brady Neal behind the plate. Uh, I, I sure like I like Milazzo better behind the plate than Neal. The so one on one account. Pitch is hit to foul. Ball might work. Ball might get down the left field. Fair was a foul ball. He's one and two. Three strikeouts here for Holman already. Comes the one, two. And balls hit left field, but it looks like it's going to get to the speech yet, foul territory. They are one and two. You know, Laniv, we got uh, Davis on deck for Vanderbilt. The one and two to count. 
one, two. He's in there for strike three looking. That's the fourth strikeout of the day for Holman. Holman has four Ks through two innings. Go to the bottom of the second. Uh, no score. Back, I got to go. Something real quick. They're looking for some base runners. I had a base running. The Tiger is going to have uh, Neil, Kavinsky, and uh, Braswell do up. Holman had four Ks so far today. Anyway. Here comes a pitch to uh, Neil. That ball he popped up left side, and it's going to get to the seats. Wow. 0 oh, 1. Coach are 50 50. Man. The Tiger's got to prove they can win. The, the O2, and that's going to be a ground ball right side, right to the first baseman, one down. That was easy. One up, one down. That was easy. All right, so one down here in the inning. Going to bring up uh, Travinsky to the plate. Birds are chirping out here, man. Not today. Friday is uh, tomorrow is a final four women's. There's a strike to uh, Trevinsky 0 to 1. Women have, I mean, the men have theirs uh, Saturday. 0 1 to Trevent, another strike. 0 2. I'm not, uh, if the Lady Tigers are out. I'm not, not going to be watching women's basketball. Here's the 0 2. That ball's. Get up to the left, the left side, left field, coming on and making the catch. Two down. You got a late jump on it, but there's two down. Two down. Those Tigers. Two down. We're going to have a uh, branch ball. Braswell at the plate. Pitch. It's low, 1 0. Tigers start needing to start hitting the baseball more consistently. Here they swing and miss. 1 1. Had a daiquiri, and I didn't even finish it last night. So I froze it. I've got to melt it right now. Solid block of ice. It's 2 and 1. Two one to Braswell. Two one pitch is a foul. Now the third base side to be evens to count to two and two. Uh, 
a 2 2 pitch. And it's going to be Gus Miss. Gus Miss on the outside corner. 3 and 2. But Braswell's been, been getting on base. Here's a 3 2. There's a grounder. I just jinxed him. Hit the short, and that's going to be the third out. So the Tigers go down 1 2 3 in the second. For the third inning, so no score is 0 0. I just jinxed him. I just jinxed him. I kept my mouth shut. Kept my mouth shut about uh, Brathwell getting on base consistently and nah, 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 and he's been getting on walks and stuff like that. What's he do? He grounds out as soon as I say that. There we go. Uh, our timely hitting is garbage, man. I mean, you know, sometimes we get hits. But we don't get those timely hits. You know, when you got guys on, there's two out or one out or nobody out. There's a guy in scoring position. Now, against Southern, you know, we only got four hits. We walked, we walked 11 times as a team Monday. Only got four hits. There are, are time, it's just the timely hitting is just not good, man. Well, these half innings are quick, man. Damn. Half yeah, these half innings. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah, that's why the that's why the half innings quick because they had to come back and talk to the coach. So, and he and, and Johnson can't talk when he's trying to manage an inning. So. Yeah, with runners in scoring position, LSU is hitting 186. Now that is awful, man. Uh, no, we're not. We're not hosting a super regional. Not, 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 not playing like this. All right, here comes the pitch to the plate. We have uh, foul one one. Pause. Jay is talking to the announcers when he's trying to manage an inning. Yeah, okay, now he's off. Yeah, he ain't got time for this shit. They should, I don't know why they try to interview a manager like when the inning's going on. He's got shit to do. It's high, one on one. If you're going to interview him, interview him by once the, once the, uh, when that bottom of the inning, uh, ended. That's when they should have interviewed him during the breaks. Not right before any starts. Two and one. That's just stupid, man. I mean, this is this. He's, he's got to manage the game. He can't sit and talk to the freaking uh, announcer. Here's a two one. That ball's hit to uh, right center. Uh, Plain makes a catch. One down. Uh, the hair. Plain uh, makes a catch. Lane's got some nice hair, man. It's like, uh, looks like, you know, uh, Con Air. So one down. And we got like, Hewitt to love. Uh, and the pitch. All right, 0 and 1. The only one to count here to Hewitt. Got Bastine on deck. Oh one. Oh one and one. Guys from Greenland, Greenland, New Hampshire. Here's a one one. Ball ball the foul back one. Uh, from Vanderbilt's from New Hampshire. The one and two to count is two it. That's on the right side. Here's the one, two. That's right three looking. That's the fifth strikeout. So two down. Two 
two down. We get that high strike call. Getting that high strike call. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it stays that way. Hope the umpire doesn't change the way he calls balls and strikes. It's a strike. 0 and 1 to uh, Bastine. You know, right now, Holman looks uh, pretty sharp. Here's the 0 1. That's 1 and 1. We need, we need him to go seven innings. With, with our bullpen, the way our bullpen's been pitching, he needs to go, he needs to go like in seven innings. Hawks play the Mavericks. Yeah, Mavericks, Mavericks are going to win that uh, Southwest of it. Pelicans blew that shit. Here's a swing to miss. One and two. Pelicans didn't make any didn't make any moves in the uh, trade deadline. Yeah, I know. It's only a third inning. Here's the one, two. And it's inside. Two and two. Mavericks are going to be a tough out playoffs. Hopefully we don't play. Hopefully we don't play them. We're not going to beat them in seven games. 2-2. Two, two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's the sixth strikeout already for Holman. Man. Man. So already we're going to the... Uh, I'm the third. This game is moving on quickly. No, there's no base runners. Just outs, outs, outs. This game is going to breeze on by. Need some uh, base runners or something. Uh, yeah. Our our bats need to wake up. They're like Toronto, you know. Oh, Serrano. Look at the bats. ESPN Plus tonight. A lot of hockey. ESPN Plus. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think there's many uh, games. College games today. Vanderbilt sucks at the bat. Uh, well, no, LSU sucks at the bat. Never bad. Half any man, damn. Man, this is uh, this is the this these half innings have been going by like quick. I mean, they're not wasting any time. I mean, they're they're it's like a it's like a minute, and then all of a sudden the, the inning's starting. They don't give you they don't give anybody a chance to go get a beer or anything anymore. Bottom of the uh, third inning, Tigers should have uh, should have what Pearson clean yeah Pearson clean and Milam do up. Vaughn Diggs will be a free agent after this season. The, the Texans only going only going to uh, have him one year. Kind of weird. The Texans only going to have uh, Vaughn Diggs for one year. To resign him. All right, so Owen one here to uh to Pearson. He gets it to right field. That's hit well, and that is gone. Home run. As Pearson goes, uh, pulls it. Home run, Tigers. Uh, 2018. So one nothing Tigers as Pearson goes yard. Man, no, we, we we can get home runs. <laughs> All right, so Pearson get to start this gets the scoring started with a home run. That's gonna bring up uh Con Air and uh Pax and Kling. 
And the pitch, a strike on one. Let's see if Paxson can get a. Uh, let's see if uh, Con Air can get a, a hit base hit here. Here's the 0 1, looks a bunt, and takes it for a strike, 0 2. Sun is gonna, the sun has went down behind the trees, so blinding me here in this porch. And that's foul. That, that ball was inside. I don't know why he swung at that. But still 0 and 2. So it shows 0 and 3 on the screen, which uh, is incorrect. Not 0 and 3. That addition. It's uh, 0 and 2. All right, here comes the 0-2 to claim, and that's in the dirt. 1-2. and two. And it's way high. 2-2. Two two. Okay, now they got it fixed. They had, they had to take the whole board off the screen to fix it. Two two pitch is three and two. Good eye by Clean so far, man. Yeah, the Vanderbilt baseball team is so uh really competitive. They're really they're they got a good baseball team. Football team not so much. That's ball four. Wow, so Clean gets on with a walk. It doesn't doesn't chase anything there. Good job, Clean. We got our first base runner of the game. We haven't had a base runner on the base pass at all yet. So we, uh, we finally get one of those. Did have a home run, but... All right. Yeah, so they walk clean out. Milam's due up. Now, Milam's got to get something going. Milam is just... He's been bad at the plate since uh, conference play started. His average is like, dipped down uh, tremendously. Here's a bunt. And to a third base side, good bunt, and Milo might beat it out. He does. That's going to be a bunt single. So Milo uh, beat the uh, the bunt out. There we go, Milo. Yeah, the uh, the announcers uh, ruined. I mean, they jinxed uh, Vanderbilt this inning because they started interviewing his player, and uh. LSU's gotten uh, a run and two guys on. God says I gotta get off. I gotta get off the headset. I don't blame him. All right, so I'm just gonna bring up uh, the top and the order back up in a Bainham. So two on, nobody out here for the Tigers in the third. Yeah, our bullpen is shaky. That's true. Our bullpen is shaky. That ball is what about the wild ball? Oh, almost a, almost a wild pitch. Good job by the catcher. Keeps that ball from going to the backstop. Now this found a uh, pop between. Inches. All right, so one and zero here to uh, Bainham. First and second, nobody out. The pitch, right. One and one. But one and one to a uh, Bainham. Lane at second and Milam at first. Walking a bunt single. It's down low. Two and one. Yeah, maybe the Tigers will break out this inning. Bainham's uh, is averaged down to 297. That old with uh, with his ground out earlier. Yeah, Carter's missing his oh, his spots here in this third inning. Was cruising two one. That ball is hit to uh, right side. This could be two. It goes a wild. It's a it's a wild throw to second. It goes into left field. A runs a two runs by score. Oh, and a one run. Okay, only only uh, only clean scores. 
They had a chance for a double play, but an error allows a run to score. It's two to nothing. Man. So, uh, an error on a throw. That was, uh, not a good throw to second base to start the double play as it went in the left field. Now we have Tommy White to the plate. Okay, that wasn't the pitcher's fault. That was the uh, infielders or that one infielder who couldn't throw the ball cleanly you know, to short and uh, get that double play started. That wasn't on the that wasn't on the pitcher. The pitcher actually threw the right pitch uh, to get the uh, double play, but uh, his infield let him down. And now we have a uh, Tommy White do up here for LSU. Yeah, now they're playing like their football team. <laughs> but now they are. So two nothing uh, Tigers. Tommy White to plate, and the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 1. Pitch was down. Down a little low, and Tommy chased that one. And he needs to take a pitch, man. Why, why don't they give him a take sign? Since he won't take a pitch you know, voluntarily, force him to take a pitch. Here's the 0 1. That ball's ground up the middle. It's a base hit. And it's going to score another run. It's 3 0. 3 0. Yeah, you spoke into existence. The Tigers uh, hit the baseball this inning. It was uh, three nothing. If Tommy White uh, gets one, that hits it right back up the middle. We're gonna have to see. Oh, Jones. Jared Jones uh, at the plate and the pitch. Is high one and zero. Yeah, this pit though, this pitcher should have had two outs, but he's he has been struggling with his location. But a few pitches, a few pitches ago, he should have had a double play ball. Here's a foul one and one. But. Back he just won't want to melt right. Put a dacker back in the freezer. He doesn't. Not right. Here's a one one. Bring a miss. One and two. The first and uh, first and second here for the Tigers. Nobody out in the third innings. Three nothing LSU. One two. Check swing right side. And uh, only play is the first, and there's one down. Only play was the first. First baseman, first baseman thought about it, going to second. Uh, made the wise choice and gets the uh, one out, but does move the runners over. Does move the runners over. It's uh, one down, but the runners at second and third. And we got uh, Neil do up. Deal with the plate here for LSU. Pitch is hit to left field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to drop down. The one run will score and throw to the plate, and Tommy White will score. It's 5 nothing Tigers here in the third. Man. Man. Where's this team at? What, what, this, what was this team Do we, uh, all year? <laughs> Man, where was it? Where was this hitting team? Hitting team against uh, Arkansas and Florida, Mississippi State. Although some of that was pitching, but still, our situation has been bad. So Trevinsky up. That's a strike on one. Trevinsky's over O for one with a fly out. And the pitch. It's out of play, 0 2. 
The Tigers have put five runs in the board. For five runs here in the third inning. Five nothing. Spinsky. 0-2 pitch. Down low. One and two. Felt uh they warmed up over there. Alright, so one and two to count. Here to uh, Travinsky. Pitch. Foul again. Do it again. Yeah, five runs in one inning. I think we've done that. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. I think. I think. I can't recall last time we got five in one inning. What's happened? Before. It seems like it's been a long time. I just hit him. So uh, Trebetsky gets hit, and we're gonna have uh, two on, and now we're gonna have Braswell do up. Braswell come to play. Braswell do up. And a pitch is high, one and oh. So one and only to Braswell. And the pitch is wild pitch. And runners will one will one run move up. As Neil will go to third. We got first and third. Man. So first and third now. Still one down in the inning, 2-0 pitch, and Braswell bunted foul. Two and one. That's a bunted foul, two and one. Tigers lead five nothing here in the third inning. Two one. Is ball? Yeah, ball three one. He looked uh squared the bump, pulled it back. Out of the ball three and one. So boxy. So warming up in the uh Commodore bullpen. Three one pitch is hit to right side. Plays at first, and it's two down, but one will score. So Neil will score. And it's now six nothing. Had to put another run on the board. Put another run on the board, but there's two down. Now we're gonna have let's see, uh, B -B 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 Pearson. Yeah, Pearson uh, led off, led this inning off with a home run. So uh, he's gonna come up to the, gonna come up again. At the plate, that's ball one and zero. Yeah, so Pearson's going to come up again. Can he get another home run again, like two in one inning? The uh, here's a one zero. That's a strike. One and one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a swing in the minutes. Blew by him. 1-2. One 1-2 two. One two to, to count here to uh, Pearson. Let off the uh, inning with a home run. One two, two and 2 Pearson got the offense jump-started a little bit. With, uh, Homer. In the uh, third inning, Tigers have picked up six total in this inning. There's the 2 2 to Pearson coming to the plate. It's going to be Swain and a miss. 
that's going to end the inning. But the Tigers get six runs, and they leave uh, they leave one one man on base, and we'll go to the uh, fourth, and the Tigers lead six nothing. Man. So Luke Holman, we we've given him some uh, we've given him some run support, but now uh, now our pitching needs to uh, hold the line. Needs to hold the line here. So our our bats finally got us a a, a lead here early in the game. Now our pitching needs to do its job. And then I'll take that. I'll take it any day of the week. How about that? Any day of the week, I'll take that. Take a six run, uh, six run third inning. Holman has six strikeouts. Uh, we'll see if we can keep this thing going. Who's hot? Clemson, Dallas Baptist. I heard about them. Like, uh, could be good this year. Kentucky, North Carolina. Who's not? LSU, Oklahoma, Stanford, and Wake Forest. Yeah, yeah, Wake Forest is not doing well either. Wake Forest and LSU have been kind of disappointments early on. Here's a pitch to the plate. And a strike. You are Austin 0 1. Austin 0 1. Holman will come set. Yo one. Low one on one. Focus. Outside and low. One on one. One one pitch. Right. One and two. Home in the head ahead in the count. One and two. One, two, fouled, do it again. We'll do it again. Here comes the one, two to Austin. That's a uh, grounder to third. And Tommy White uh, throws him out, one down. To hurry a little bit, but it's one down. The one down of a Cozeal two up. The one down, nobody on. Still up. The pitch is going to be inside, 1-0. Ozil? Ozil? And the pitch. 2-0. Kozel. Mispronounced it. Okay. So 2-0 here to Kozel. Pitch is hit to uh, right field. That's going to be it fair. Foul. Well, that was if that guy if that gotten down, that definitely would have been uh, two bases. Now two and one. What's up, Pax? Are you playing Clash Royale? What's Clash Royale? That uh, Fortnite. I know, I know what Battle Royale is. I don't know what Clash Royale. 
So two and one to count here to proposal. Pitch. Three and one. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Wow. I, we got lucky there. Two and two. That looked like a ball to me. Wow. Okay. All right, Umps. That looked a little high to me. I'll take the strike. Two two pitch coming to the plate. Swing and a miss. Two down. Just got done golfing. Well, did you do good? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Right. Doesn't really matter. Why don't you go golfing and uh, have a good time? What'd you shoot? I shot good. Three under par. The Holman has seven A's on the uh, night. No, Espinal do up. That's a high. I want to know. I, 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 I haven't played a round. I've never played. I've never played a round of golf. I've never played the round of golf. Here's the 1-0. That ball's fouled. I probably would shoot something like uh, like 130. Anything else on T besides uh, they got Demolition Man on? Watch that on. Here's a 1-1. One, one. There's a foul 1-2. What's up, Brian? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, golf, I know golf, I've been out golfing like for a few holes, you know, with people. It's fun. Let me relax. Here's the one, two. I what? Two and two. Wow. We don't take it seriously. Yeah, you know. If you're an amateur, you know, like, like I'm sure everybody, everybody would be an amateur by uh, definition. That's another foul ball. Go out there and just uh, hit the ball around. Yeah, they, they're, um, they're fielding. Heard him last half inning. 2-2 two, two pitch. That's all three. Three and two. College slam dunk and three-point championship is tonight. 3-2 three, pitch. At strike three looking on the outside corner. That's going to end the top of the inning. That's strikeout number eight. For a Holman, man, very schemes like, you know, strikeout numbers there. The so bottom of the fourth, we go. It's six nothing LSU. That's very schemes like, you no know, strikeout number. Man, now uh, this this is this this is a really good um chance for us to win tonight because of who we have on the mound. It's tomorrow and Saturday where I'm a little concerned about can we win those games because of uh, we're going to have to rely on our bullpen the next two games pretty much. I don't know if we can. Uh, I said we'll win two out of three this weekend. I guess I got to stand by that. So. But did, did, I mean, Holman's a good, good uh, pitcher, so. Sports Critic just became a sponsor. Sports Critic's been always been a sponsor of Stream Elements. I guess that means I guess that means uh, his his uh, sponsorship renewed. I guess that's what it means. But he didn't just become a sponsor. Saturday, hockey, you know, hockey playoffs will be starting soon. Hockey playoffs. Sunday night baseball, we got the Astros at the World Series champion Rangers. Battle of uh, Texas. I miss Joe Morgan and uh, John Miller. Uh, 
on Sunday Night Baseball. That was that was peak ESPN. Sunday Night Baseball when those two guys were on the call. Here's the pitch to a clean. Swing to miss. 0-1. Oh Miller and Joe Morgan. Now they were they were they were a good duo for baseball. Here's the 0-1. Swing to miss. 0-2. Oh So Klain, uh batting 188 on the season. He walked. It did score a run uh, last inning in the hole 0-2. Here's the pitch. And it's in the dirt. 1-2. Hello, Kelly. I guess the notifications are just scoring and going out because... Oh. So. Here's a 1-2. Two. 2-2. Two and two. Just like last at bat, Clean got in the hole, then he started uh, having a better eye. Now he's uh, even two and two. Two two pitch is swing and a miss. One down. Oh well, I talked too. I talked too soon about Clean. Too soon about Clean as he strikes out yet again. Uh, Right now we got the uh, Milam coming up. Milam got a bunt single last inning. That's a strike going one. Indiana State and Seton Hall playing in the uh, NIT semifinals. That's uh, Larry Bird's alma mater. Here's a ground ball to short and two down. Jeez. Yeah, that's what Clean does. Uh, strikes out. Milam Mil and Clean got on base last half, last inning, but not so much. So quickly, two down. And uh, Bainham at the plate. And the pitch, they ball on and out. <laughs> Maybe the minors. No. Here's the one zero. It's two and zero. They need like an uh, arena. You know how they have a arena football? They need like an, an arena baseball team or a or a USFL baseball league. That ball hit the left field. Hit well, and that is gone. Home run. It's Bainham. Let get out in a hurry. And they put up a they put up a touchdown over Vanderbilt. It's seven nothing. Man, so touch uh so uh Garrett Nussmeyer just threw a touchdown pass to Kyron Lacy, and uh, Tigers lead seven nothing here on the first drive of the game against the Commodores. The Nuss bust. Woo hoo! Chug and chug and choo choo. On the board, go nuts! I picked Van. I didn't think Vanderbilt would sweep. Uh, I, I I actually picked LSU in two out of three. But tomorrow and the next day is gonna be really key because we're gonna have to rely on our our uh, our bullpen. And you know our bullpen really hasn't been effective. Well, Tommy White uh, fouls that one. Zero and one. He's one for two. Had an RBI single. Also scored a run. So one and one to count here, Tommy White. One one. Two and one. So I uh I got it. so Brian and Kelly, I know you and Tyler and Pax and y'all know y'all all here all the time and always Always complain about my uh, my TV and my internet. I did some uh, research, found out what a big problem was. I'll tell you about it in a minute. The so three one here to White. It's ball four. The so White will get on. So um, you know we have the fiber optic internet here, AT and T. So I I knew something was like not something was wrong. I was like, the TV should be able to handle 1080p with no problem. Should be no problem. And so 
I ran a uh, test on the uh, internet on the TV, and it came up like 2.4 gigahertz. I'm like, that's not right. Uh, so we got five, and uh, which is no faster. Uh, so I had to like reconfigure a whole new internet with the five gigahertz as opposed to 2.4, the different password and all that. So that was a problem. It was it was figured to the wrong internet for some reason. It was bound. I think it was bouncing around. You know, when the, when it was running perfect, it was it was running with that the five gigahertz. And then when it would skip and, uh, and it would get distorted and it would you know, buffer, it was going to 2.5, which couldn't run 1080p. Here they swing in a foul ball 0 and 2. So um, it's close enough, yeah. So when I did the, um, when, I, when I found out what the problem was with this 5 gigahertz crap, and uh, I ran the test again, it says, yeah, it can run 4K with no problems, which it's supposed to. Here's the O2. That's a foul. So, you know, the, the 2.5 gigahertz, whatever it is, can't run 1080p. It can't run uh, 4K. I think the TV was kind of, you know, for some reason it was alternating between the two for some reason. So I had to separate, you know, the 5 and the 2.5 uh, separately. O2 pitch down 1 and 2. So, so far, so good. Yesterday and today, it hasn't have had any problems. So, so maybe, maybe my, uh, maybe, maybe I figured out something. But I knew the, I knew the TV can run 1080p with the internet we had. I just knew it could, but something was wrong. Here's the one two. That's gonna be. That's not a strike. Wow, two and two. Not a strike. How that wasn't, I don't know how that wasn't a strike. Anyway, so two and two to Jones. One at first, and there's two down. Tigers lead seven nothing. That ball's base hit the center field. We got now first and second. I got a fire TV, so you can you know you can run the report on it, uh, a speed test, and it said it, it kept saying that you know it. it it's close enough to the router to run uh, 1080 and then 4K. That's what it's been doing uh, today and yesterday. That's a Brady Neal at the plate. Pitch. And it's down low, 1-0. It was, it, was it was aggravating the hell out of me, man. For like a week, it was aggravating the hell out of me. I, I just couldn't figure it out. I said, something's not right. I thought about calling AT&T out here, but I uh, just, just researched myself. And it's a ball. No. Oh, I say he went around. I say he went around. All right. One one. All right, so one and one here to Neil. Pitch. Two and one. Yeah, he's up to 80 pitches. Uh, they probably are seeing if he can get through this uh, fourth inning. Tigers are four out of eight with runners in scoring position. And it's ball three, which has been much better than what they've uh, been uh, doing it. Oh, I didn't bury it. Uh, at and did. Pitch. Ball one. It's out in the front yard somewhere. It's out in the front yard somewhere. Hit three one. Hit three one. That's ball four. Oh yeah, since I no since I reconfigured it to no the to connect to the five G internet, uh, the five giga five gigahertz internet, it's been perfect. So the base is loaded. Yeah, I surprised myself. I actually researched something and know uh, I, I became internet savvy. I was like. <laughs> I'm usually not. So Trevinsky up with the bases loaded. That's a strike on one.
one one account here to uh, Hayden. The pitch. Ball outside, one and one. Uh, that I'm not sure. Here's the one one. It's been so long. It's been so long since we had it. I'm not sure anymore. But but it's been running perfect the past two days. Uh, haven't had any problems on my computer or my TV. Here's the two one. That ball's a base six. Left field, one run will score for sure. And let's see if they bring two home. They will. It's nine nothing. Man, Tiger, not, this, this has got to be it for this uh, pitcher. This has got to be it for this pitcher. I thought I heard my dog at the door. I want Nine nothing. He got first and second now. Okay, they are making a they are making a, a pitching change as Carter gonna exit. So uh he's he was uh not effective after the was it the uh third was the third inning. It was the third inning he started running into some problems. Uh Yeah, this yeah, this must be this must be the Vanderbilt football team in disguise. What's up, Garrett? Y'all playing Fortnite tonight? Yeah, my TV is not very far from the uh, router. Um, not far at all. So, yeah, so like, I mean. Man, it was bothering me. It was bothering me for like about a week, man. I knew something, something was not right. I said it, the the TV, the internet should run 1080p with no problem. No problem. Could be no problem. Although ESPN doesn't run 1080p. I mean, ESPN runs uh, 720. So uh, I can't believe they don't have full high definition on ESPN. Oh, you put you're not watching. You're not playing Fortnite. You're playing watching the game. Which is one, it's one bad thing about ESPN is they don't have a 1080p. Well, they don't. Well, they don't have it here on ESPN two. It's uh, 720. So, but I wonder if is uh, one of the I wonder if the uh, national title game Monday is gonna be on 4K on CBS. Should be. So uh, Grayson Carter went uh, only three and two thirds, seven hits, seven runs, uh, walked three and struck out two. So the Tigers' uh, bats came alive today. Ooh, we needed that. Yeah, we. I have a uh, YouTube uh, TV. But Hill Aboki, even on H L I B O K I, Hilly Boki, man. Loboki. Loboki? How you pass how you pronounce that? Loboki? He's one and over at 8.68 ERA. Uh Braswell up. Two down in the inning. That's a strike. One. I used to have direct TV for a long, long time. And uh several years ago we we uh, cut the cord, went to uh, streaming to uh, Hulu. That ball hit the center field, but it's going to be caught. should be caught, and it is. And the side is retired. But the Tigers get a few more runs, and they lead 9 nothing, going to the fifth. Yeah, DirecTV kept going up and up and up in price. and Then we went to Hulu Live. Uh, of course, then all the you no know, the streaming has gone up in price in the last uh, you know five years. It used to be like forty. It used to be like forty five bucks for uh, Hulu Live, and then they kept going up and up and up and up in price until I had enough and uh, went to YouTube TV. And uh, I'm paying what seventy two dollars? Yeah, seventy two ninety nine. 
with uh, YouTube TV. I have the 4K edition, so on it, so. Yeah, I know. That's one bad thing about being on uh, streaming, but eventually, I think eventually everybody's going to be streaming. And I think somehow they're going to have to get the latency, you know, a little closer. Uh, technology has to be there where they can get the latency a little bit closer to uh, cable or something like that. If ESPN has their way and they have their own app, uh, then they're, they're going to be uh, just streaming. And if a game's on ESPN, everybody should be on the same uh, latency thing. So. Everybody's got to have an app for that. That's right. Uh, I'll let you play Vanderbilt on the SEC Network tomorrow. So the game's on TV again tomorrow. Yeah. Two of our games are on TV this weekend. Not on the crappy ESPN app. But sometimes it doesn't work. Alrighty, the home and back out there, and it's gonna be a ball here to a uh, Hulk. One and L. Yeah, usually when I watch the game, uh, I just turn my phone off and like, hey man, did you see that catch? See that catch? That's a, that's uh, another, it's a ball strike. They, they peeled down first. They're gonna say he went around one and one. Yeah, I just turn my phone. I just turn my phone off and just don't listen to the text message. That's two and one. I think with the next like five years, ESPN is going to have their own standalone app to watch their channel. That ball's at the center field. Flames there. One, one down. They've been talking about it for a while now and have their own. To get off a of direct TV and cable and YouTube TV and all that shit. They've been talking about that for a while. I think I think eventually ESPN is going to do that. I mean, it's, they're they're probably going to charge of twenty bucks a month, probably. I charge twenty five. That's of all one and out here to uh, Diaz. Yeah, that's what Clean does well, huh? Is um catch the ball, huh? Strike one on one, what? Remember something uh There's a uh base hit right field. That's the first hit of the game for uh, Vanderbilt. But you were in Japan and uh I remember streaming on something from like Japan when the Longhorns Network wasn't on Direct TV. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, streaming. Streaming's gonna be the thing, man. And you're not gonna you're not gonna have any more cable wires in your house. Everything's gonna be if you don't have the if you don't have the internet, then you're gonna be screwed. Eventually. That's with Lenev up. That's going to be a, a strike on one. But what are people going to do like out in the boonies? Here's the 01. Free to miss. 0 oh, and 2. And what, what are people going to do out in the boonies? You know, like way out in the, in the country somewhere when you, you know, you. <laughs> where they can't, we might not have internet out there. Zero and two to count. The pitch, you will hit him. So Lenev uh, gets plunked. Now they're gonna have, they're gonna have, they're gonna have two on and one out. Yeah, online. Yeah, I, I, I lost a lot of money online online poker back in the day when when it was on the internet for the first time. You know, like decades ago. Yeah, I lost money. A lot of money on online poker. Blackjack, you know, uh, slots. 
They should have went to the Guardian Casino. Here's a pitch to uh, to Davis. That's a strike going one. <coughs> a two on one out. Vanderbilt's uh, got answer to maybe put some runs on the board. Here comes the 0-1, and this ball is going to be a base hit right field. The other bases are going to be, oh, no, no, they're going to send the runner home, and he will score. So Vandy's on the board here in the fifth. Uh-oh. Man. So a uh, single to right. Bowman's a little shaky here in the uh, fifth. Okay, let's not uh, make this game interesting. Let's not make this game interesting, guys. Oh, yeah. Remember the bookie calling you? Remember the football cards you used to have at the bars? There's like a football card. They had they had all the games, you know. They had lines on it, and you pick out the games you wanted, and you left money there, and uh, and then somebody came and picked up those cards, and then then they then of course you know they brought them back, you know, if you won something. But uh, remember, I remember those things, football cards, at bars. You can bet so many games, bet one game. Two games, you know, of course, more games you bet. The odds, you know, you're, you'll get more money, of course, like parlay, like parlays now. All right, we got Hewitt do up. Got first and second. Pitch. A strike. 1-1. One, one. Alvin Hewitt is 0-1 with a strikeout. 12 RBIs on the season, betting 294. So Holman will come set. Pitch is a foul. Holman two. Zero oh and two. Nothing. Zero and two. However you want to call it. <clears throat> so Holman pitching from the stretch. We got one out, two on here in the fifth. It's nine one LSU. And it falls. He. It's out of play. Stays 0 2. I like teaser bets. You can change the spreads. Huh. And you couldn't do that with the football cards. Whatever the, whatever the spread was in the football card, it was. Didn't matter if it changed like during the week. I remember one time I bet like 13 games and almost won. I like. I think I lost like one game. And since Dinert one and two, it stopped. That's how dumb I was. Got like thirteen games on that little, on those little football card. But I was one. I, I won. I won like twelve. I, I was one game that I lost. I could. I won. I was going to like win like a lot of money, but <laughs> here's a one-two pitch. Wayne and a miss. Two down. A strikeout number with nine there for Holman. Man. The so Holman had a chance to get out this inning, ending with only one run given up, which would be uh, really good. I was going with this guy, Rasheed Wright, with the Chiefs. He was driving at Lamborghini, and then he walked away, and, man. can't imagine uh, what. How's he, not, how's he gonna get away? How's he gonna get out of that? Here's a ball one and out. I'm not sure. Forgot what that meant. Here's a one oh. And it's gonna be a swing foul ball one one. I don't I'm I'm really not sure what juice means. Wish we had a, a betting expert on here. Demolition man's almost over with. Movie. 
Western, Western Science by the Lucid, by the Lucid's head. The 1-1. One, one. Up and in, 2-1. One. Two and one to count here to uh Vasti of Astine. That's three and one. Oakland's gonna play in West Sacramento for the twenty twenty five to twenty twenty seven series. <laughs> three one pitch is in there for a strike. Wow, I, I, I've got a break there. Three and two. I think uh, Holman got a break there on that pitch. Three and two. The runners are going to be going on the pitch here with two down. Holman going to come set. Here comes the 81st pitch. And a 3-2 is swung on. Right field and going back, back. And at the warning track, it was gone. It kept carrying and carrying and carrying. It's gone. Man, so Vaston hits a what three run home run. Man. Damn. That ball just kept carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying and then went over the wall. So Vastine, uh man. Jesus. Now it's nine to four. Gonna Austin do up. Why is our pitching all of a sudden like collapse? Yeah, back in the day, man, if you didn't pay your debts, man, the bookie come looking for you. That's two and now. Yeah. yeah. If you if you if you uh, didn't uh go to bookie some money. He might send a guy out there. He that he knows. A 2 0 pitch is a strike. Still one. All those all those bookies, they know a guy. Now, why is our pitching all of a sudden just collapse, man? 2 1 pitch. That's pit up in the air, center field. And clings there. And makes the catch for the third and final out. So Vandy gets four runs. And they leave none. We'll go to the bottom of the bottom of the fifth. It's 9 4 LSU. Yeah, I mean, it's just 9 nothing. Looked like we we're just going to be rolling along. And then, uh, let's go clean. Yeah, clean, uh, catch. Yeah. So they got a, uh, like a bar opened up, like, in, like, not far from the house. Like, in front of the subdivision on a highway. It's like a daiquiri shop. They got like a cigar bar. They got a full bar full. I mean, they got a whole bunch of freaking alcohol there. The walk there. That's what this is. This is a daiquiri. I got it yesterday. I can, I can walk there and uh, and go to happy hour. Which is good. I'm gonna be driving. I'm gonna be no, definitely gonna be getting a damn uh, DWI. You know, right in front of my right in front of my house. That would be uh good. Walk there. <laughs> oh, we got oh now we got Eraser. I haven't seen that movie in like forever with uh with Arnold and Vanessa Williams. So four three one for Vanderbilt, nine seven zero for LSU. So we can see, see if we can hold this five run lead. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for some. I'm ready some for some playoff hockey. I'm ready for some playoff hockey. So the Tigers will come to uh, to the plate here, fifth. Gonna have uh, Pearson do up. Which is high. One and
1-0 to Pearson. Popped up. Third base side and should be an easy out. Makes the catch. One down. So one down here in the uh, fifth. One on the uh, Ole Miss in Arkansas. 2 1 Ole Miss. Women's Final Four tomorrow night. NC State versus South Carolina and UConn versus Iowa. Here comes the pitch to claim. It's that for a strike on one. Yes, I will stream playoff hockey. No one pitch. It is down low, one on one. So one and one here to claim. Pitch is hit to uh, left field with a base hit. Wayne gets a base hit. Now he's going for two for a double, and he's in there. Wayne gets a double. What? Man. Oh my goodness. Wayne got a base hit. He got a base hit. I knew he was going. I knew he was going to get a hit today. The law of averages. Who's going to get a hit? Zion Williamson considered day to day. He's got a finger injury. The Pelicans are fighting for the playoff lives. Uh, Zion needs to toughen it, toughen it up and uh, play. All right, so Milam. That's his first hit since March what, uh, 19th, I think it said. But guess what they meant? They put 190th, which is, of course, not a uh, a date. Ooh, it looks like Arkansas always hit a home run. Here's a 1 out of Milan. That's two in it. So clean on at second base after getting a leadoff double. I'm sorry, one out I'm I'm double. Excuse me, one out double. Excuse me. All the narratives of the game. Where's Smoke with all? You don't bring Smoke with all back. A two and note account here to uh, Island. Pitch. Yeah, they do. Every, every once in a while, you'll see a hummingbird. Um, flying around. My brother, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law has a hummingbird feeder, and uh, yeah, they come around. Rio pitch, strike, three one. I don't know what this is out there chirping. It, but it's always it's always chirping around dusk. Always, so it's I'm just looking looking for a mate, uh, something. 3-1 pitch is a foul, 3-2. and two. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen hummingbirds before. Rare, it's, it's, it's rare. But, uh... Get a hummingbird feeder and you might see one. 3-2 pitch. That's strike three looking. Right, the knees, two down. The so Milam strikes out. So Milam strikes out to bring up the top of the order up into Bainham to the plate. So ESPN should take off this little ticker they have running on the screen like constantly and free up some more space for uh, the whole, show the whole you know, field rather. It's a strike. The Bainham only one. But Beatham's one for three with a solo home run and a run. It's not like we it's not like you can't go look you know you can look up scores anymore. So here's the 0-1. That ball's out of out up in the air. Hit him in the air through two. I remember, you know, 
back in the day when they only had the ticker running like twice every hour and then uh they would go off i mean you don't need to have the scores running constantly anybody can look up scores now nowadays it's not very hard you don't need the damn ticker here's the o2 that's foul trade back and then they show the same damn headline uh for like th like four hours like breaking news uh you know this player is signed with this team that happened like four hours ago it's not breaking no more i think everybody's heard about it now oh and two here to, to a Bainham. that's gonna be a ball one and two This for second two down, 9-4 LSU here in the uh, fifth. One, two, two and two. Mets win 13 straight innings without a hit. Mets suck this year. 2-2 two, two pitch is popped up. And behind home plate, but we'll get to the seats. Mets are absolutely garbage this year. <clears throat> All right, so two and two to count here to Bainham. And the pitch, a swing and a miss. That's going to end the fifth inning. The Tigers, uh, they get a few runners on, but they can't uh, do anything with it. We'll go to the six. It's nine, four Tigers. See if, uh, see what we can do here in the, as we get to the later innings. Uh, right back. Right back. I've all, we only seen one snake was a grass snake. Oh, you killed a rat. Yeah, we have a uh, we have um, ribbon snakes, uh, garter snakes. I've seen a uh, a rat snake before. Actually, top of the sixth inning we go. Oh, we go. I miss a miss a base hit. I did. I was looking to the chat. Randall got a lead off single. That was quick. All right, so uh Bosel got on. Here comes a pitch to Espinall. That's foul on one. There's the uh SEC standings is Arkansas eight and one, Kentucky eight and one, and they they lead the East and the West. LSU's down there in the second to last, two and seven. Auburn's one and eight. There's a ball outside one and uh, one and one. Did we play Auburn this year. I can't remember. 
I'd be uh I'd be for the uh who's the worst? The battle for who's the worst. There's a one one. It's a strike. And two. That's a one and two here to Espinal. One, two. Wayne the miss. He should just be strikeout number but ten. I got number 10 for Holman. Man. The snake from the uh, movie Conan on oh, the Barbarian is scary. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go back and uh, watch that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rasheed Rice was driving a Lamborghini. Okay, then he's in trouble. Here's a, uh, oh, lost the bat. Ooh. And it almost went to the Bainville dugout. Look alive over there. 0 oh, 1 as uh, Polk lost the bat. As uh, look alive over there. That's, a lumen, that's an aluminum bat. That's going to hurt. Man. Arkansas is beating Ole Miss 5 2 in the sixth inning. So they're in uh, Fayetteville. All right, so 0 and 1. Get a Polk. 0 1 pitch is hit to uh, center field. Going back is Clay. And two down. Two way. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by a wooden bat, aluminum bat. I don't think uh, I don't think you want to be hit by uh, one of those. Not gonna uh, not gonna feel good. All right, so there's two damn one at first base. We're gonna have a uh, what? A Diaz do up. Holman will come set the pitch. Is a strike on one. Or Diaz. Diaz. The Diaz is one for two, singled and scored a run. Here's the 0-1. One one. Yeah, especially in the face or I'd rather get hit like that. Here's a one one. Two and one. Yeah, put your hand up, put your hand up. I let you hit the four on it there. At least it won't uh, mess your face up. So two and one account. Rafael at all out of the Monte Carlo Masters. What about that tournament? And now we're going to have a uh, mound visit here. Yeah, he's at ninety. He's at ninety-five pitches. Uh, if he can, if he can get to, if he can get out of this inning and go six, that'd be. Uh, can our bullpen, our can our bullpen hold five five runs? I guess we'll find out, huh? We got uh, two and one to count here to uh, Diaz. Can't believe Musselman left Arkansas in basketball. That's going to be a miss. Three and one. I was surprised at that. So Harry warming up. Harry's been very reliable. Good, uh, good, good idea getting him uh, going. Here's a grand ball to short. And he boots it. Oh, my God. As Braswell boots it. That's not on Holman, man. Holman threw the pitch to get out the inning, and uh, Braswell boots it. Man, I mean, the pitcher, the pitcher makes the pitch, man, and then the the, in, the infield doesn't do this job, man. So this is probably gonna be it for yeah, they, they, they have to bring in Harry. Not this, this isn't the uh, Holman's fault. He should be out the inning, but Braswell, 
Bryce Bell's having some problems. And Pitcher. New pitcher, Griffin Herring on relief here for LSU. He's from South Lake, Texas. But he's 2-0 and with a 2.84 ERA. Uh, he's got 25 Ks, uh, six walks, and he's by far our best uh, bullpen option. Yeah, Braswell does stink, man. Ullman should be should be out of the inning. Uh, Ten strikeouts. He should, he should be out the inning, but but now he's gone. Now we now we got to bring in Herring uh, uh, a little earlier than what I think Jay Johnson was hoping for. All right, the Tigers play tomorrow night at seven o'clock Central. We're gonna have uh, a pinch hitter. It's a new guy here. I don't, I don't, this, this, this ain't new. So Heron will come set, deliver. That's a ball. I want to know. A uh, new batter here is a uh, Jack Bulger from Bowie, Maryland. He's gonna pinch hit here for the Commodores. The one zero is a strike. One to one. A one on one account. And the one one is yes, he went around one and two. The hell was Neil throwing the ball there too? Just throwing the ball and Herring wasn't on the mound. So one and two to count. Your bulger. And the one two. Is hit to a right field. That's going to be a base hit. Going to get down, and that might score a run, and it will. So good job, Braswell. So it's now nine to five. Good job, good job, uh, good job, Braswell. You're responsible. You're responsible for those runs. It shouldn't go to Holman. Those runs definitely should not go to Holman at all, man. We got first and first and third, two down. Unreal. So JD Rogers will come on and pinch run. We're gonna have uh, Davis at the plate here for uh, Vanderbilt. But it's now nine to five here in the sixth. Pitch is a another base hit. This is gonna go down. This is gonna go all the way to the wall in left field. So one run will score. And it's now nine to six. Jeez. This is unreal, man. 
Nine nothing lead. That's nine assists. Damn. Nine nothing problem. Nine nothing. Now it's nine to six. Hello, Zachary. Yeah, thanks, Braswell. Uh, I mean, th yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is on Braswell, man. Braswell had the chance to, he had the ball right in his, uh, right there. Just get down on it, field it, throw it to first, and he's over with. He boots it. Uh, gonna make, gonna make a pitching change. And now back to back singles. And, uh, now it's nine to six. <laughs> A whole run here ties the game up. He still has problems, man. I, I was hoping that, you know, okay, tonight's going to be a little different. You know, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. And... Arkansas's beating Ole Miss 5-2. to two. Right, so uh as a strike to uh Hewitt 0 and one. Oh one is down low one and one. Aims are beating the Knicks. The Knickerbockers. The Knicks are Julius Randle's out for the year now. The one on one account. Here to Hewitt. That ball's in there for a strike. One and two. That's a good pitch here by Herring. One and two. Our, our pitching is still. Well, I mean, it was it was Braswell, man. Wasn't it? Was Braswell one two pitch? Swing and a miss. Oh no! Oh, no. Just, oh, he just got a piece. Oh, he got a piece of it. It's all on Braswell, man. I know Herring has come on and gave up two hits, but it never should have come to that. It should be over with. Braswell should have cleaned up. Should have fielded that ball cleanly, and it should be still nine to four. Here's the pitch. It's two and two. And a base hit here, and it's a nine eight game. Thanks, Braswell. But we're we're kind of limited of who we can put at short. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Unless you want to play Milam at short and Pearson at uh, second. I don't know. Two two pitch. It's wow three and two. Everybody's got a stunned face on their uh. On the, on the behind the plate, like, huh? Yeah, I know. We're all stunned, too, here on Goose Sports. Good job, Braswell. 3-2 pitch. That's a slow roll to the third. They're going to have to hurry. And they have no play. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to say foul. Oh, I think we got lucky there. Whoa. Oh, they're going to say it's foul. Wow. Oh. Oh, we, I think we got, I think we're, I think we're fortunate there that ball was foul. Because that would have been, that would have scored a run. I, I don't think Tommy White could have thrown him out. They call that foul. That, that, that they don't have a good angle. That's a bad angle here. Yeah, I don't think Tommy White makes that play. Um, if uh, if that ball's fair, so we got a little fortunate. Fortunate there, three two pitch to the plate. And it's ball four. Now they're loaded. I don't think it matters. We're, we'll, we'll like uh, Braswell will boot, a, will boot a ball, man. Ain't going to matter who's pitching. <laughs> the base is loaded. Man, you know, a ball in the gap here could be disastrous. Because with two outs, you know, the runner's going to be going on contact, and it could be a... And we got uh, time is called. So, uh, base is loaded. 
That's a ball one and oh. That's tying up. Please. Yep. There's a fast tie to one for two with a three run home run. And hits one here. They got the lead. That's a grounder to uh, second uh, second base. Milam throws the first. Got him. Oh, Jesus, thank God. So Milam throws him out, and the side is retired. But Vanderbilt gets a few runs, and uh, they're in within striking distance now. It's nine to six. What's up, Jay? How you doing, man? Man, we were very fortunate that last half inning that we didn't give any more runs. Man. Why is our pitching so freaking bad, man? Why is our pitching so freaking bad? Hello, Lee, Lee, Lee Mario. How you doing? Pitching, our fielding. Jeez, man. I, I just don't get it, man. Going on with the uh, with baseball. I don't think I don't think there's many baseball games on today. Major League Baseball. I think today's a uh, this uh, you know, very small, limited amount of games. They got the White Sox and the Royals playing. What did he do? Cares about that game. The Chicago, the South Side of Chicago. Kansas City. Games in Baton Rouge. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. It's 9 6. LSU. Uh, so it was 9 0. Now it's 9 6. This tells you how LSU's pitching and fielding is just. Uh, Not good. That's why I'm worried about. That's where I'm worried about tomorrow and uh, Saturday, because we're gonna have to re rely on our bullpen more Friday and Saturday, and uh... oh well, we'll see though. All right, so we're gonna have a. Uh... All right, we got uh, David Horn on the mound here from uh, for Vanderbilt. He's from Mission Bahejo, California. It's an ERA of five over five, five point four. Only in three innings, four hits, three walks, and three hits in three and a third. So he's been uh, he's been batter, he's been hit a bit, hit a little bit. Uh, he's been on the mound. Here's a pitch to Tommy White. It's a ball one and zero. Fights one for one for two with a snarby eye single, a walk, and he scored two runs. And a swing and a miss. He was late on that one, one and one. That pitch was up and in. Just uh, couldn't get around on it. One and one. And the one one is a grounder to third. Nice play. Gotta throw, gotta hurry, he does, and get though he's still, oh, the, the, the ball, oh, uh, the first baseman was off the bag, and he had a, he, then he had to tag Tommy White, and the umpire was gonna say he didn't tag him. This is gonna be, a, this is gonna be a, are they gonna, are they gonna challenge this? Let's see. The third baseman hesitated. He's out. He's out. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to challenge this. He's out. The umpire called him safe. I don't know how the umpire called him safe there, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't know how the umpire called him safe when he clearly tagged a runner. <laughs> how? How did, the, how did the first base umpire miss that call? Was he, was he like, like, eating... I don't know what he was doing. 
this should be an easy play. This should be an out for a, this should be a an out. I mean, he's tagging him out right there. <laughs> I mean, that's an out. That's an out. I mean, I'm 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 putting it out on the board. <laughs> yep, he's out. <laughs> he's out. I don't know how the I don't know how the first base umpire even even call that safe. <laughs> this is what it is, man. How why fans get so upset about the officiating in sports. When they miss a call like that, that was so obvious that he was out. <laughs> <laughs> this would this would frustrates fans. So Jones had to play. I mean, even though I mean, even though this is you know an LSU player, but he was out. It's a swing and a miss. I wouldn't want. I mean, if that was reversed, LSU fans would be going ballistic. My God, the umpire hates LSU. I think they just bad at their jobs, man. <laughs> They need, they need to go down to, they need to go down America's best and get their eyes checked. Here's the old one the Jones in the dirt. One and one. Ball gets away, but there's nobody on base. The one and one account here to Jones, nine six. You're in the bottom of the six. And the one one. Screen the miss. One and two. So one ball, two strikes here to Jones. One two pitch in the dirt, two and two. So two and two to count here to Jones in the uh, bottom of the six, one out, uh, nobody on. Two two. Wow, we'll do it again. Two and two to count here to Jones. Two two. How would that miss? Three and two. Don't know where that pitch missed, but it's uh, three and two. Here comes a three, two. Clean and a miss. That's two down. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, to, oh, no, not Saturday. Saturday is the final four. I'm doing it again tomorrow night. What's up, bat on bat on LSU? How do you like our pitching, man? How do you like well, I'm sorry, how do you like uh, Braswell? I like Braswell extending that last inning, which gave Vanderbilt like three runs. Or two runs. Here's the pitch to a Neil. There's a strike going to one. Gotta you cut your grass. Like dark outside. Oh, and two. Yeah, they play play tomorrow and Saturday. Saturday's a final four. There's the O2 in the dirt. I'm definitely doing a game tomorrow night. Hopefully we can win this one because I'm not I'm not too I'm not too hopeful now for these next two games because our bullpen is gonna have to be relied on and I don't I don't know if they can be do anything. Here's a one, two, two and two. So two balls, two strikes here to Neil. Ready, a two, two pitch and hit him. He got, he got hit his foot, yeah, hit his foot. So Neil gets on with the uh, batsman. College football is about to start again. Uh, no, not until like August. Yeah, college football is not about to start again. I don't know what you're talking about, Zachary. A 
give me a summary so far. Uh, we were, we were up nine nothing. I'll, I'll see, we were up nine nothing. Now it's nine six. <laughs> That's foul back. Oh and one. Uh, Holman should have been out the inning in the fifth inning, but Braswell made an error, which extended the inning, and uh, it, it just was it went downhill from there. Braswell started it all in that fifth inning. Here's the 0-1. It's one and one. Yeah, good old good old Braswell, man. But I don't care about spring football, spring games. Spring games are just practices. College football is not starting until like August. Nowhere near to being August. Not yet. That's up and in. And if you go around, well, you could say he went around on that. One and two. What's up, Kenneth? Uh, 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 <laughs> These hunts have been horrible tonight, man. These humps need to go to America's best. There's a what would that miss? Two and two. Man. Uh, would that pitch would that pitch miss? <laughs> first of all, first of all, Chermensky didn't didn't uh swing there a few pitches ago. Now it was a strike. Two two pitch and spout back. I mean, they, they've been they've been awful. I mean, they they missed the Tommy uh, Tommy White was out. They called him safe, so Vanderbilt had to appeal that. They showed he was out. Uh, some of these pitches are strikes that they're calling balls, and vice versa. Trubisky didn't swing. <laughs> two two pitch. That's three and two. Man, I know. I, I, yeah, spring games are just, just all they are just at glorified glorified practices. They're just, they, they don't, everybody gets so excited about spring. Oh, we're going to see the spring game. They're not going to show you nothing. What do you think you're going to see? <laughs> Here comes the payoff pitch to Trubisky. And that swing and a miss. That's going to end the six. Now, fall practice, fall practice is when I get excited. That means, that means it's, that means it's coming. But spring ball, you know, it's April, man. On time to August. All right, well, let's see. We'll see if our pitching can hold it. We'll see if our pitching can hold this uh, lead here. If we blow a nine nothing lead, oh my god! WrestleMania this weekend. You like it when they do two nights? I don't like. I liked it when they just did one night for WrestleMania. I don't like the two nights. They got to go both nights. You got to pay. You got to pay two tickets. Or they let you get in for like both nights with one price? Uh, probably not. Y'all like WrestleMania was just one night, and everything was like every everything was there. You know, it's the whole the whole show was one night. <clears throat> That's just me now. That's just. Oh, uh, let's see, man. Let's see if we can hold this freaking lead here, man. Nine nothing, man. It's now nine six. But all of it, all of it wasn't Herring's and uh, Holman's fault. Braswell extended that last inning. It should have been. It should, should be. It still should be nine to four. <clears throat> it still should be nine to four, but it's not. Did he do that? Did he do that against Arkansas? I was, I was, I was doing stuff last week. I, I didn't watch one of the games. What game was I didn't watch? Saturday. It was Saturday's game I didn't watch. LSU Arkansas. Didn't he boot? Didn't he boot a ball Saturday that cost him some runs or some shit like that? Or was it Friday? So Herring back on the mound. They just strike to Austin, zero and one. I think Braswell screwed up a game last week against Arkansas, and. Here's the 0-1, and it's outside 
Yeah, we need Heron maybe to go the rest of this rest of the rest of this game. I, I don't trust putting in Little and Lower and uh, uh, anybody else. <laughs> maybe Gidry. Here's the one one. Swing to miss. One and two. Maybe they should maybe they should bring in uh, Gidry or Ackenhouse and you I mean. We need we need this game. This is the game we need. This is the game that you got to pitch all your good pitchers. Here's a hit to a right field, going over and foul territory. One down. As a Pearson makes the catch. But yeah, this this is the this is the game you got to pitch all your good pitchers because tomorrow and uh, on Saturday is gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna be tough. I don't I don't trust little. I don't trust. Lower and uh, what shit? You know, Cam Johnson, Anderson. I don't. I don't trust those guys, man. There's a pitch down to what Ozil. One and out. Yeah, Pelicans are falling apart, man. Here's a one out. Strike one and one. Yeah, Zion question because he got a hurt finger. The playoffs are in the balance, man. They got, he has to play. Plus, he physically can't play. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a strike, 1-2. and two. I mean, If your finger's broke, just tape it up, man. Just take two fingers together and, you know, and put a brace on it. 1-2, pit test strike three, two downs. <laughs> uh, they they've scored enough. They got nine runs. Tigers Tigers have scored enough runs to win this game. Nine runs. They're they're they 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 had shoddy uh, fielding. Braswell is is three to miss. Yes, that's been all at the plate. Yeah, you you score nine runs, you should win. I mean, that just you should never lose. Scored nine runs. <laughs> Here's the 0-1. We need to miss. 0-2. Yeah, we, we might need Herring to go the rest of the way here and uh, just close this game out. That way we can save uh, Ackenhausen and Gidry for tomorrow and then maybe get that game and then win the, win the series. We need to miss. Well, they got to go to first and complete the out, and they do. So uh, that's, that's going to end the inning, half inning. So we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. It's 9-6 LSU. Time to stretch, guys. A stretch. A stretch. A stretch. Time to stretch. Time to stretch. Get right back. All right. See, so we need uh need a few more outs, but six more. But then we can get we can uh start off one nothing here in this uh series. Maybe but maybe we can maybe we can get some insurance runs. I'm not really I say nine should be enough, but uh, y'all are seriously like LSU fans are really confident. Our bullpen. Yeah, it was nine nothing early on. Then now it's nine six. So six six one for Vanderbilt, nine eight one for LSU. Is uh, 
Tigers have no runs in one hit since the fourth inning. I didn't realize that. We've had one hit since the fourth inning. Huh. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so there, there there's that's been a problem. Uh, this year is that um we start off well and then just cool off at the plate. So Braswell up, takes the first pitch for a ball, one and out. Braswell's over three. The one oh strike. One and one. One and one to count here to uh, Braswell. Pitch. Two and one. Two and one to count here to Michael Braswell. And that pitch is. No, strike the ball. That's a ball. Three and one. Okay. Got to wait. Got to wait and see. So three and one here to Braswell. And the pitch is a foul. It goes to roll back to the uh, backstop. Three and two. And so three and two to count here to Braswell. He leads off here in the seventh. Tigers lead nine to six. Pitch is ball four. So Braswell. We'll get on with the leadoff walk. And bring up, uh, oh, we got a Pearson to the plate. Pearson hit a home run earlier. Yeah, Pearson hit a home run. It's, that started the scoring off this game. Arkansas up over, Arkansas is up 5 2 over Ole Miss. Eighth inning. Bottom of the eighth. Looks like, uh, looks like Bandy's going to go to the bullpen. Looks like it. So Vanderbilt's going to have a uh, pitching change. Yeah, he got on base. He gets a, so he does get on base. So any fireball tonight? No, no, no fireball. But I got Yingling. Cross Friday night. So tomorrow, no, tomorrow's like the weekend. But tomorrow will be more of a fireball night than. But I got to get some more uh, yingling. See, I mean, I've even got yingling uh, emojis. <laughs> got the yingling emojis. Just get this. Just get the. Uh, this. Just get this opening win, man, and just, and we can maybe have some positive energy for tomorrow. And if they, if they somehow blow this game, oh, my God. <laughs> and it, 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 they might get swept again. If they, if they somehow, if Vanderbilt somehow comes and wins this game, come back and wins this game, after being down 9 nothing, I thought you might get swept. Hopefully it don't happen. Though. <laughs> with our pitching, I don't know. With our pitching, I'm not going to take anything. I'm not going to take anything for granted. Our pitching has been four. Let's hear the bullpen. Sunday night baseball, you got the Astros and the Rangers. The Levi, what? Usman? He's from Hanover, Virginia. He's the, a lefty. 1 0 with a 5.40 ERA. So. So who's been on the mound here for uh, Vanderbilt trying to keep this a three-run game? Them in uh, striking distance. Never know with LSU with, with LSU pitching, especially if Christian Little comes out or lower. Never know. Hopefully, uh, Herring can go one more inning. Then they can either bring in uh, Moffitt. 
Gidry. No Brandon Thatcher heard. So Arkansas is up over Ole Miss. They're going to the ninth inning. They're up five to two. Oh, uh, still ranked number one in the country. We got uh we got oh we got uh Fry gonna pinch hit here for LSU. He looks like he's like eight foot tall, man, just standing there. Get the pitch. He's a strike on one. A fireball snow cone today. Where'd you see that at? Where's there a fireball snow cone? Here's the 01. I've seen them online and uh, I never made them, but uh, I, I, maybe I should make those. Make a fi fireball snow cone. But you no, know, fireball doesn't freeze. Now you put it in the freezer, it doesn't freeze. Here's the 01 with the 1 1. Bunch it up in the air and gonna be an out. So Fry tries to bunt, bunch it up in the air, one down. Can't even freaking bunt, man. He bunts it up in the air, man. Oh my god, he did. He went, went it down on the ground. He bunted it in here. All right, here comes the, the strikeout king uh, at the plate. There's a pitch. That's 1 0. So 1 0 to count here to cling. Yeah, I don't know if that's on the uh, third base coach or was it uh, Fry that decided to bunt? Could be the third base coach, but then, but you got to bunt it though. It's 2 0. The third base coach has calls for a bunt. You need to actually. Bun it and uh, get it on the ground, not bun it up in the air. All right, so Clayne's one for two to double, a walk, and a run. So he did, he did get a hit today. So Clayne uh, did something he hasn't done uh, all SEC season, which is get a hit. So that's good news. All right, so two and no to count here to uh, Axton. Braswell on first. And the pitch is a strike. Two and one. Con Air ahead in the count, two and one. We got one out, one on. Two one pitch is a grounder. This could be two. Let's toss the second. Back to first. Double play. Four, six, three. Double play, and the inning is over. Well, he didn't strike out. But we'll go to the eighth inning. It's still 9-6 LSU. Uh, he, didn't, uh, he didn't strike out. <laughs> he put the ball in play. Man. He did put the ball in play. I mean, I guess we got to be happy about that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I much look. I much rather you somebody put the ball in play than strike out. Uh, I know a I know a double play ball is uh, you know not good, but I much rather you put the ball in play and just sit there and take strike three. Uh, at least at least you uh, put some effort and swan at it. But he's still not hitting the ball uh, well at all. But anyway, at least at least he got contact on. But he did get a hit today. So Con Air did get a hit. So all right. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, we, us, us Catholics can go back and we, us Catholics can go back to eating uh, meat on Fridays now. Since uh, since Lent is over with. I'd go back to uh, eating meat tomorrow. I had like fried shrimp every day, every Friday. It worked out because of uh, it was on sale. 
I wanted to have like shrimp, I mean, uh, cat, catfish or a few nights or tilapia or something like that. But every weekend, they uh, Rouse's had like sale on uh, frozen shrimp. So just go and thaw it out and then uh, fry it up. All right. So herring out there in the eighth. There's a ball one and up. Yeah, I'm really hoping Harry can come out here and uh, close these next two innings out and just uh, really help our bullpen out for tomorrow because we're going to need it. Here's the 1 0. Swing to miss. 1 1. I mean, Harry won't be able to pitch tomorrow, but uh, you know, we can save Ackenhausen, uh, Gidry. So, that guy went. Oli, Yolia, Fidel. There's a strike. One and he's been all right. He's been he's been okay this year. One and two. Bucknum and uh, him lower. Cam Cam uh, Johnson, Anderson. I just don't trust. I, don't, I just don't. I don't trust those pitchers, man. Oh, I think I think they got that got Cam Johnson. He came in also hyped up. That he's been he's he's a freshman, but he's can't pitch. Swing to miss. One down. So Herring uh Herring has come in and uh really mowed him down after after having some problems early in that uh that sixth inning. So one down here in the eighth. Is a uh, third strikeout. Is D uh, D is the plate. Oh and one. What they said? I thought it was Diaz. How oh, they said D. Here's the O one. The balls out of play. Oh two. Yeah, Herring's only at 30, 33 pitches. So uh, if he can get out this inning, you know, under forty, uh, he. Probably will come out for the ninth inning. And if we can just use two pitchers. Uh, here's the uh, ground ball. Oh, third. Nice play by uh, White. Off the first. Got him. Two down. Nice play by Tommy White on the down the hot corner. Two down. Man. So two down here in the eighth. Yeah, Tommy White has been, he's been a really good de a defensive third baseman this year. He's really, uh, you know, improved over last year. I mean, he's making plays that uh, that uh, some guys in the major leagues don't make. Over there over there in the hot corner. There's the, there's the, uh, the Rogers to the plate. Takes the first pitch for a strike on one. One pitch, bad 0 2. So quickly 0 2 to count here to Rogers. A JD looking for his first uh, like hit of the year. 0 2 pitch is outside 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 to count here to, to JD Rogers. All right, so Herring will come set. And one, two. is in there for strike three looking. That's going to end the top of the eighth. That's strikeout number four for Griffin Herring. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's still nine, six Tigers. We're going to take a three-run lead going to the bottom of the eighth. So uh, for sure, we're going to have a three-run lead going to the ninth. All right, so uh, Obi Griffin here can come on and uh, and pitch the ninth inning and really save our bullpen for tomorrow, so we can win that game and then win this and win the series and then at least we'll have that in the back pocket. We haven't won a series yet, so got to start somewhere. 
you gotta start somewhere. So you gotta you gotta win Friday, you gotta win the, the first game, then you gotta win the next game, then you win the series, and then and so uh Arkansas if you don't miss. Going with the Kings and the uh the Knickerbockers. The Kings up by one in the fourth quarter. Are we, are we like chasing the Kings? Are they chasing us, the Pelicans? Yeah. But uh, but the Pelicans are just uh, they're just thinking like a rock late in this uh, late in this season. All right, well, Tommy White man has been uh, made a nice play there in the last half inning. As he's been uh, really, been really uh, playing uh, great defense at third base this season. And he had a shoulder surgery in the off season, which kind of hindered, hindered him last season. And looks like that looks like that that was the case last year. While he wasn't you no know, as good last year from the uh, defensive side of the ball. All right, so we go to the uh, bottom of the eighth. It's nine six Tigers. Uh, they're trying to hold on to this lead. They led 9 nothing. Vanderbilt has come back, scored the last six runs. LSU hasn't got a hit since, like, the fourth inning. Here's a pitch to Milam. That's a 1-0. and oh. Or I think they've had, like, one hit since the fourth inning or something like that. The Vanderbilt's kind of shut us down since the fourth inning. And our pitching and our, our, sorry, our fielding with the shit. Here's a 2-0. and oh. It was our fielding that went to shit, not our not our pitching. It was Braswell. That really hurt that fifth. Was that the fifth inning? Yeah, fifth inning. Six, no, sixth inning. Sixth inning. Six. Do a pitch to Milam to strike. Two and one. Two and one here to Milam. Uh, got Bainham on deck. White in the hole. The two one. And Milam will... Hit to center field, but it's caught. One down. So Milam uh, put a charge into it, but hit it, hit it right at the center fielder. And there's a one down here in the eighth. Now Mac Benham comes to the plate. He hit a uh, he hit a home run earlier. Hit a home run earlier in the game. The one out, nobody on here in the eighth. Bainham at the plate. White on deck. That's high. One and out. Oh. It's be cool to see uh who's the worst player on the team. Like I don't want to call anybody out, man. But Pax and Kling can't hit. And that's two and out. Pax and Clay's been horrible since the SEC play started. I don't. I gotta look. Is it, I think Brady Neal is. Uh, you know, Brady Neal hasn't played well. Milam hasn't hit the ball well since the SEC play started. There's, a, there's several players who are they're not hitting the ball. That's three now. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, Clay and Milam and Neal are the three batters that are not really uh, hitting the ball well at all. Uh, since conference play started, they just not been they've been they've been you no know, awful. I mean, Kling just got his first hit. I mean, three zero pitch, that's ball four. So Bainham will get on, and we got uh, Tommy White to the plate. Come on, Tommy, hit one like in the hit one ten into the uh, in the bleachers fair. Hit one into the bleachers, fair. Either right field or left field, doesn't matter. But hit it fair. Don't hit it foul. All right, so, so uh, Tommy Tanks at the plate. And the pitch is a ball high, 1-0. Oh. I think we will, I think we only had like one hit since like the fourth inning tonight. So our bats have gone quiet. Luckily, luckily we scored nine runs tonight. The one zero, the strike one and one, because we really, uh, because we really haven't uh, hit the ball well 
<clears throat> last several innings. So very fortunate we scored those nine runs early. It's a strike one and two. This this is the problem with LSU. They'll go through stretches where they just can't hit. You know, they'll they'll get a few hits. It looks like everything's gonna be the fortunes are gonna be good, and then all of a sudden, boom. They can't get on base. Here's a one two. And it's fouled. And that foul that'll get out of the park over there in the uh, over the right field uh, bleachers. Foul, by the way. That when that went off a building, I went off a building somewhere. All right, we got uh, one and two to count the Tommy. Come on, hit one, hit, hit a homer. A Daner one two pitch. Bring in a miss. Two down. Two down. All right, so now uh, Jones will come to the plate. As, uh, his average has been dipping. Uh, he's down to 275. He's one for four today. And the pitch is a strike on one. So his average has been dipping a little bit. Um, but he, he, he's not the only one. Here's the 01. It's high 101. Now you ready? You ready for the uh, the heat wave coming? Uh, like in a few months. Well, look at the Mavericks. Mavericks. Mavericks are beat. Mavericks are gonna. Mavericks are gonna win this uh, Southwest Division. This sucks, man. Now you ready for this heat? It's coming in June, July. 1-1 pitch. That's a base hit. Center field. And oh, oh, the center fielder boots it. It goes all the way to the wall. A run's gonna score. That's going to be an E, uh, what, E8. Wow. The center fielder just, uh, uh, he booted the ball. That's going to be an error on the center fielder, and the Tigers get a much-needed insurance run here in the eighth. Man. That's the center fielder with an error. What's up, Steve? Man, so the runner run will score, and uh, and the uh, Jones will go to third base on the air. So, uh, man, man, well, I got some for you, uh, Steve. Yeah. I got my beers. All right, so uh, Neil at the plate, and it counts zero and one. And looks to bunt and does bunt it. And back to the pitcher. Only play is oh they, they do go to first. They do go to first and get the uh the guy out of first base to retire the side. So uh I thought I thought at first I thought he was gonna go home and try to get the runner out at home, but he didn't need to. Uh he went to first and got the sure out and into the inning. But the Tigers get a run, uh, an insurance run. They leave 10 6 going to the ninth. Yeah, so uh, good. Uh, thank goodness that the uh, Commodores returned the error. Uh, they returned the favor. We had an error earlier that uh, brought in some a run. So, yeah, cheers. I got my own emoji for the uh, for the uh, members of the channel. You know, the more the more the more members I have, the more emojis I can put out there. So I'm limited to. Right now, I'm limited. I'm, I'm, I can't put any more out. I took I took the Braves one off. And put the uh, the beer up. Then I put the fireball. There's another, another one I changed. I put the fireball emoji up. Right, so ninth inning we go. Week two of the United Football League on Saturday. You got uh, what, San Antonio versus Memphis, then Arlington versus St. Louis. Saturday. UFL. 
Sunday you got Birmingham versus Michigan and Houston versus the DC Defenders. And it's tough the breakers aren't in there, man. Couldn't find a place to play. I guess what really uh hindered them uh uh you know surviving the uh the cut in the merger. There was nowhere nowhere the breakers can play in New Orleans. I thought they were gonna play where the Zephyrs used to play because they put they made tag to a, a rugby stadium. I know how I know that the uh some high school teams play there uh football during the year. I was a little surprised that uh the breakers weren't able to uh, get a kind of agreement to play uh football there. All right, so Heron is out there for the ninth inning. He can finish this off and we can only use two pitchers. Too. That's that'd be outstanding. First pitch is the ball one and out. Yeah, if we can if we're gonna use uh Holman and Heron tonight, that's just that's a win. There's a one out to Dave to Davis. He's two for three. There's a pop up center field, clean coming on. And Connor says, I got it. One down. One down. I'll be here tomorrow night. Gonna be a little later in the day, seven o'clock Eastern. I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me, seven o'clock Central, seven Central. The game will be on the SEC network this time, not ESPN two, but it'll be on TV. There's a pitch. There's a grounder to third. White has it, and two down. There's two down here in the ninth. The Tigers are one out away. Of winning, man. It's been a long time since we won the first game of a series. I know, I know. We we won, we won Vanderbilt, right? We won the first game of Vanderbilt, right? I mean, I'm not Vanderbilt. Well, Mississippi State. We might, we might, we might have won the first one against Florida too. I can't remember. We lost two out of three against Florida, right? And then got swept at Arkansas. Yeah, we yeah, we won Friday against Florida and Friday against Mississippi State. There's a foul. But all when uh, Luke Holman was pitching. <laughs> if Luke Holman doesn't start us off with a uh, win, a series win, you know, uh, we're not winning the series. All right, so 0 1 here to Vastine. Pitch is 1 1. Now it's going to be on with Gage Jump tomorrow and the uh, Tigers to. Uh, and we're going to have a full bullpen outside of Herring. So we have no excuses tomorrow. None. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No, there's no excuses tomorrow for LSU. Our bullpen is rested. Uh, we've used one pitcher, Herring, today out of the bullpen. We've got no excuses. None. 2 one pitch. That's a swing and a miss. I got a piece of it and found it back. But it's 2-2. Two and two. And the Tigers are one strike away of getting this opening series win against Vanderbilt. As fans up on their feet, they were at, uh, at Alex Box. Some are still sitting on their asses. Your ass up. 2 2 pitch. And here's a uh, ground base hit. As uh, Braswell couldn't come up with it. So it's uh, going to be a two out single. Should play fall. Well, I don't know what that is. What is that? I have to find out what that is. The so Austin at the plate. That's a strike. One one. From his outside. 0 and 1 here to Austin. Pitch. Going to be fouled. Straight back 0 and 2. So it's going to be. Uh... No. 0 and 2 to count here to uh, Austin. So there were uh, Tigers a one strike away again from uh, getting a series opening win. 0 2 pitch. And it hurt. That's a wild pitch. 
But uh, Warner can't move, the Warner can't move up one and two. It's uh, it's actually a good stop by Neil. The cat that going from all the way to the backstop. So one and two to count. Through to uh, R.J. Austin. One and two to count as uh, Herring will come set. One two is in the dirt, and well now he can't find it. And the runner does go the second. No, he tossed the second, but there's not any time. But uh, now they're uh, now the Hollander Wars have a runner at second base, but still uh, the time run still not even on the on deck circle. So, the the time runs in the in the hole right now. So two two count coming to Austin. And the 2 2 pitch. Between and a miss. The ball gets away, and the runner's going to be saving first. It's going to be a strikeout and a wild pitch. Oh my God, man. You're going to be kidding me. It's going to be a strikeout and a wild pitch. So. All right, so now, now the time runs in the on deck circle. That's why I was very. That's why I was happy about getting that insurance run. That's why I was happy about getting that insurance run, man. So uh, it's ten to six, but the other, but the uh, the tie run is uh, in the on deck circle. So, but uh, so it's still not not panic time yet. But uh, you 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 get a runner on here, or you get a home run here, then it's then it is panic time. Looks like Ackenhausen is warming up. I don't want to use Ackenhausen today. I want to keep. I want to save him for tomorrow. I want to stay back at housing for tomorrow. We can't make any. We can't make anything easy. Our pitching just cannot make anything easy at all. It can't. It. It. it I'm worried about tomorrow, and Saturday. Bow down. I am. You know we don't. We don't really have a strong. Two strong pitchers going. You no know, gauge jump is okay, but he can only go like four or five innings. And Thatcher Hurd is just erratic. You know. You don't know what the hell Thatcher Hurd. What, what Hurd you're gonna get with him? All right, so two down, two on. Is Kozel up? Yeah, I think it's Kozel. Pitch is a strike at the knees, 0 1. So, uh, so this guy, Rasheed Rice, was driving a Lamborghini. Uh, he left the scene of an accident. I wonder if he was drunk. You'll never know because he left the, left the scene of an accident. There's the 0 1. Strike 0 2. Yeah, Rasheed Rice, if he was an average person, like a normal person like you or I, his ass would be in jail. But he's got money, so he got money, he can get out. 0 2 pitch is outside, 1 and 2. There's Gage Jump. Now, we we're talking about Gage Jump. You got to go like 5 or 6 tomorrow, Gage. We got to help our bullpen out tomorrow. You got to go at least five or six tomorrow, Gage. So, uh, no, Jay Johnson, the goose says you got to go five or six. One, two pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Yeah. If, if Jay comes and talks, if Jay comes and talks to you, tell him. Goose said I got to go five or six innings. I can't come out until I go five or six. So, <clears throat> so tell him what Goose says goes. Come on, Harry. 2-2 two -two pitch. And swing and a miss. That's going to end the game. Thank goodness. So the Tigers hold on, win 10-6. They were up 9-0. Uh, and uh, they're up 9-0. And uh, they made, they, they made, it come, made it interesting, 9-6. We get an insurance run, make it a four-run game, and win 10-6. And it snaps our four-game losing streak. Man. Jeez, so a win's a win, man. When you're on a four-game losing streak and you got swept uh, last SEC series and then you lose two out of three against Florida, two out of three against Mississippi State, I'll take a 10-6 uh, uh, win like this. But uh, tomorrow's a different day, and uh, your gauge jump is probably going to have to go five or six, man. Um, I just uh, – I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really worried about our bullpen tomorrow. Because Herring can't go. 
Ackenhausen can go, but um, I don't know, man. We'll see. But uh, as long as Christian Little ain't out there and uh, Lower and Bucknum. Oh, we man. But a good win for the good win for the Tigers. They went ten to six as they they get a series opening win. Been a while, man. Been a while because we didn't we didn't do it against uh, Arkansas, and we did it against State and uh, Florida, but then we lost two in a row. Man, where where would we be? Where would we be without Luke Holman? Um, LSU would be in a LSU would be in a world of hurt. Wasn't for Luke Holman because uh, there's nobody else on his staff like him. He's, I mean, he's not Paul Skeens, but he's putting up low strikeout numbers like Paul Skeens. He's striking out ten batters a game. Skeens did, but um, nobody's Paul Skeens. But still, but Holman. Oh well, all right, man. I'll be here tomorrow night. I'm here tomorrow night for the uh, game number two. Game number two is going to be a, at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock uh, Central. And uh, I should have some uh, should have some fireball for tomorrow. Have some fireball. Maybe we'll have some explosions. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go read the rant. I'm sure the I'm sure the rant's all happy and you know every, everything's everything's great gravy. Uh, LSU baseball's back. Uh, uh, you know we're we're going to Omaha now. You know we won a game. I'm sure the rant's gonna be all excited about a, about a win. And yeah, we're going to Omaha now. Omaha bound. <laughs> Have a good man. See you tomorrow.